With Moho Pro 12, you can import and export actions for your characters. This means you can create an action for one character and then bring it over to another character that has a similar bone structure. You can bring these actions into the same documents or into new documents. This allows you to build up a library of actions that can be applied and used time and time again. We have four characters on screen as you can see. They all have similar bone structures, but there's variations, especially when it comes to Bernie and Trump. You can see here, for instance, with Hillary, if I zoom in, we have two torso bones that make up the torso, a neck, head, shoulders, arms, legs, feet, and target bones on the bottom. The same goes for Bill. If we come over here and look at him, you can see he has a neck bone and a very similar structure to Hillary. With Trump and Bernie, there is a slight variation. Of course, bones have been shifted to account for body types, but also we have no neck bone on Trump. The same for Bernie. So we'll create an action here and see if we can apply it to all these rigs. We'll use Hillary here as the template. I'm just going to come in here and do something very simple to start. I have my actions panel opened up. You can use command K or control K to access the panel. And I want to, with Hillary selected, create a new action. Here, I'm just going to name it F arm move, which stands for front arm move. And again, this is going to be very simple. Click OK. We are now inside that action. I'm just going to come in here. Let's go to frame 10. Grab the transform bones tool. And I'm just going to move her arm up. And that's it. So something very simple. We'll come back out here to mainline. And now I can come in here, let's say frame six, come down here, we can click on that action, come up here and choose to insert a reference. So all of that works just like it did before. But again, I want this action to transfer over to my other characters. So once again, on the actions panel, I want to locate front arm move, which is right here. And at the top, you have an export button, which is right here. You can choose to export, or you can right click on the action if that's easier and export that way. You can choose to save this to your custom content folder. So you could create a true library of actions as stated, or you can choose to put this in a custom folder. I'm just going to choose to save this in my import export actions folder. I'll save it FR move and click save. Jump over here to Bill. We know Bill has a similar bone structure to Hillary. So we want to come over here now to the actions panel and choose to import this time. You can also right click within the panel to import as well, but we'll just use the top button. Come over here to front arm move and choose to import that action. Come all the way down here to the bottom. You'll find front arm move. I'm currently on frame 16, so we can insert an action here if we wish. I'll come over here we can click once on it and we can choose to insert a reference or copy. Now, before I do this, I'm just going to warn you it's not going to work and I'll show you why. So we'll click on this to insert a reference and you can see right away his head tilts forward and just some things are not working. You can already tell, but let's just page forward and you can see now the arm moves, but we have some weird distortions occurring with the target bones and just the regular bones in general. It's just not working. Well, when you import actions from other characters, it's wise to set your action to be relative. Let me just undo the insertion of this reference. And coming back here now to my actions panel, I want to find that action once again, right click and choose convert to relative. Now, when I go to insert this action, it will place the relative positioning of your bones for that character. So if I advance forward now, you can see that there are no issues and we have the arm raising up nicely. And we can do so for one of the other characters that doesn't have a neck bone and doesn't share an exact replica of the structure. Let me come over here to Trump and we'll just import that action. Scroll down here, right click choose to convert to relative and make sure you convert to relative before you insert the action. 
if you insert the action and then convert, you still will get some glitches. So just remove the action, convert to relative, and then place it back in. So we'll just place this one in, and you can see his arm raises up. I'm going to repeat this process one more time using a more complex action. Going back to Hillary, I'll come up here, create a new action. This time we'll name it Duck, and then click OK. Inside the action, I'm just going to advance to frame three, and just really quick here, I'll do some motions. So I'm going to have her spring up a little bit first. And I have auto freeze keys turned on down here, so I can just whip through this really quick. This is also a new feature built into Moho 12. But anyway, just going along here, just kind of do some quick motions here just to get it right. And then she can come down at this point. Again, we're just going to do a duck. Since we have target bones, it just seems like a nice gesture to pull off here really quick. And we'll have her just do some different things with her arms. Maybe just kind of come down like that. Again, I'm doing this pretty quickly. And then we kind of have something like this. So, and then we can maybe have her spring up a little bit right there. Okay, again, not the best animation in the world, but something to work with, and it gives us more motion to apply. So once you have that, we're going to back out here to the main line. I'm going to now locate Bill, just to show you one more time how this would work. But first, make sure you come down here and you export out your action. Choose the folder. We'll save it as Duck. Come over here to Bill. We'll do this after he moves his arm, so right about there. Import the action. Come down here. Set to relative. And then you'll insert the action. So now, since he moved his arm up, he's going to start with the arm up and then come down like this as he does the duck. And we can apply this one more time. We'll come over here to Bernie. We'll import the action for him. But we'll come down here and change this to relative. And then we will insert the action. And as you can see, even without the neck bone and having a slightly different structure, the animation still works just fine. So working with actions is now much easier. You can create a true library of actions that can be transferred from character to character. As you can imagine, this can speed up your workflow and save time when it comes to repeat tasks. If you'd like more information, tutorials, or to purchase Moho, visit moho.smithmicro.com.